So let me go ahead and show you some cool things that you can do in SolidWorks 2013 if you have a, a graphics card. Um, but first of all, you should go on the bottom right corner and choose um, high definition and make sure you put it on full screen so you can see all the detail which will make a huge difference. So I currently have a GTX 660 by EVGA. It's a gaming card, but you can hack it and unlock it for SolidWorks and uh, your computer will recognize it as a Quadro. And um, it will unlock some cool things that are only locked for workstation video cards, which cost a lot of money and I don't understand why. Um, so let me show you just I'll open up a random part I think I got this from one of the tutorials somewhere so this is what you usually see when you open up the part just basic part but you got some options here you can add a shadow on the bottom you can do that on your normal laptop without any graphics card but real view graphics that you don't have unless you have a quadro and this is pretty sick look look what happens it recognizes the material I'll, I'll show you some other material but this is pretty amazing it makes it as real as possible and I'll show you some other things you can also add ambient this this is amazing look at the detail let's turn it off it's boring <laughs> turn it on again nice so let's let's open up a copper piece let's let's turn it off this is your basic copper but real view graphics nice you can see the shadow on the bottom, it ref the reflection, I would say. Okay. Um, got some other stuff to write. Yeah. Ah, come on, don't give me errors. Um, it's, it makes a huge difference. Here versus this. Let me let me go back to um, this piece. So let's change the material. Let's choose some. Uh, actually, let's turn it off first. Let's choose a plastic. See, you choose different plastics and nothing changes. You wonder why? Whoa! Turn on the real view graphics. This is your plastic. Now let's choose another plastic smooth rough more rough <laughs> smooth very smooth plastic look at this look at this pretty amazing turn it off boring and nothing will change <laughs> You can you can mess around. Every material has its own. You can do glass and copper. Yeah, you saw copper already. So let me show you real performance of a graphics card. Now, if you run SolidWorks on a laptop, it might be slow. It will be slow for sure. Especially if you have spirals and bolts, it will be very slow. You can make it faster, however, or even slower. If you go under options, document properties, image quality. Make sure you apply our reference part documents is selected. Now you can watch watch this circle. It becomes ugly. Click OK. Look at this. Now it's very ugly. But this will run fast even on a cheap laptop. So you can find the ideal option for you but let's go back to let's go back to the what I had before image quality 
somewhere here maybe. Uh, you still got some triangles, some straight lines here you can see it's and if these two parts are touching over here instead of down here it's really hard to select the edge makes it really hard when this is not nice and round so you can see you can see this circle it's not really a circle it's lines you can see down here too up here, look at over here it's pretty ugly now let's let's see what a graphics card can do for you image quality let's go into the red zone sliding into the red zone will cause the file size to increase the graphics performance to be slower and substantially increase memory usage I got 16 gigabytes should be enough okay look at that now no more lines absolutely no lines and it runs just as fast but if you're running this on a laptop without a graphics card, I don't recommend it. I've tried it, it sucks. Look at that. Change the material. Uh, copper. Yep, so... Go, go on Google, type in gaming card hack and it will open up the real view graphics for you otherwise you don't have them and this is what you'll be looking at um, you can actually let's remove the lines make it as real as possible yeah this is it guys <laughs>